Donna has brought us kind of an interesting study looking at the long-term outcomes of selective tibial neurotomy in people with spastic feet. Now, he's got 88 people who all underwent the surgery because they had spastic deformities in their feet. And he looks at them at baseline at one year and at five years. It's probably one of the longest running studies that we have going for this. Unfortunately, he has not compared to any of the standard treatments for spastic in the lower extremity, but his results are really good. So by one year, the majority of these problems are actually gone. The spasticity is significantly less than pre-op. The deformities start to go away. And then he follows them again in five years. In five years, he finds there's not much difference, meaning they retain the gains they got from the surgery. Now, this is really, really important because the thing is, simple interventions like this can prevent the need for people spending lots of money on interventions that have been repeatedly done multiple times or interventions that can eventually lead to muscle fibrosis and weakness. This is something really important people with spasticity should be aware of.